All right, in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to compare ratios. And we've got person A and person B for this problem, and they're both typists. And person A can type in 50 words in 75 seconds, while person B can type 120 words in 144 seconds. And uh, for the sake of this video, let's say we want to figure out who's faster. So one way to do it, I'm going to show you three ways. But one way to do it is to take both of their ratios and write them as a fraction. So we've got 120 over 44 down here. We've got 70, uh, 50 over 75 here. Now it's important to remember in ratios what these numbers mean. So 50 stands for 50 words, and 75 stands for seconds. Uh, 120 words, and this is 144 seconds. That's really important when understanding how to compare ratios. And uh, let's do the first one as com uh, getting a common numerator. So we are going to multiply this ratio by 12, and that gives us a numerator of 600. 50 times 12 is 600. 75 times 12, I'm not sure what it is. 10, 14, 15, 0, 5, 7. I add these together, I get 900. All right, so this is nine, 600 words in 900 seconds. And then down here, I can take 120 and multiply by 5 over 5. So 120 times 5 is equal to 600. And there's our common numerator. And then 144 times 5, I have no clue what it is. 20, 20, 22, 4. So we've got 720. So this is 600 words over 720 seconds. So it's really easy to see that person B is faster because they both type 600 words, but person A needs 900 seconds to do it, while person B only needs 720 seconds. So person B is faster, and we know because we've got common numerators. All right, a second method to compare these two ratios is to get a common denominator. And so we're going to begin by writing the ratios again, 50 over 75 and 120 over 144. And remember, this is 50 words over 75 seconds, 120 words over 144 seconds, okay? And we want to get a common denominator. And rather than just starting with 75 and 144 and building up to get a really massive common denominator, I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's do some reducing first. And I can see that both 50 and 75 are divisible by 25. So I'm going to divide by 1, which is 25 over 25, and that gives us 2 over 3. And then down here, uh, let's see, I can see that 12 goes into both of these. So I'm going to divide them both by 12. 12 over 12 means I'm dividing by 1, and 120 divided by 12 is 10, and 144 divided by 12 is 12. And now it's really easy to see how to get a common denominator. I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to multiply this guy by 4 over 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. So now we've got our common denominators. Now we have to make our decision. Who's faster? Well, you have to remember what these ratios mean. 50 words, you travel over here, so this is 8 words, and this is 12 seconds. And over here, this is 10 words, and this is 12 seconds. So now we can see in 12 seconds, if both typists type for 12 seconds, B person B can do 10 words while person A can only do 8 words. So we can see that person B is faster. Our last method for comparing these two typists is to get a unit rate. And so you remember that a unit rate is a ratio that has a 1 as the denominator. And so down here we want, we're going to rename both of these ratios 
so that they have a 1 as a denominator. So in this ratio, to turn the denominator into a 1, we need to divide by 75. So we're going to divide by the fraction 75 over 75. So we're dividing by 1 to get a denominator of 1. And similarly down here, we're going to divide by 1, but we want this denominator to become a 1, so we're going to divide by 144 over 144. So really we're dividing by 1, but it's a carefully chosen 1 so that we get a, de a, a denominator of 1. So now I'm going to bust out my calculator. Truly I am, because I totally forgot to pu pull it out when I made this video. So I'm going to get my little calculator. Woohoo! Calculator. And I'm going to type in 50 divided by 75. So I'm going to do 50 divided by 75. And I get, oh my goodness, I get 0 0.6666666. So the sixes keep going with a bar, right? So really, I could just change this to 0 0.6 with a bar. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to take 120, and I'm going to divide by 144, and I get 0 0.833333. And the threes keep going forever, so I'll just erase that and put a, three, a bar on top of the three. So now we've got these two ratios. Now how does this help us decide who's faster? Well, if you think about the, the labels, this one stands for one second, and this one stands for one second because the labels come across. Now, this 0 0.6 with a bar stands for words, and this stands for words. And so we can see that each of these people in one second, this is how many words they can type. This person can type in 0 0.6 with a bar, words, which is really two-thirds. And then this person can type in 0.83 bar with words in a second. And we can see that the 0.8 is larger than the 0.6. And so point B is faster. Yeah.